Hello and welcome to episode 139 of Vokta Gaming. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain, and we are here with a Zerg vs Zerg from the IPL, the IGM Pro League, that took place just a few short weeks ago. Introducing first, here's our pink Zerg on Team Millennium, possibly the best foreign Zerg player, in fact, the best foreign player around, arguably uh, tied with Naniwa for that luxury. His name is Stefano. And he is going up against our blue Zerg. Formerly the best Zerg in the world. Arguably that now is Dong Regu. But still with a very strong Zerg versus Zerg play. His name is I M N E S T. So that is right. We have a Zerg versus Zerg. Now, every time I feature Stefano, he really struggles. So he's hoping he can actually play well against Nesty, but it's going to be difficult. Nesty's Zerg vs. Zerg is so, so solid. He has virtually no holes in his play whatsoever. Now, before I get any further into this game... Ooh, Stefano taking a gas, so he's going to go pull first. He wants that for speed. Interesting. As we will see, Nesty is going to take... The quick hatch, like all South Korean Zergs are doing right now. But uh, as you may have noticed, there was no video yesterday. Why is this? Why was there no SC Forum replay? Because I am finally admitting to myself that no matter what I do, SC Forum is dead. All the guys from it, I still hang around with them on Mumble, they're still great guys. But now all they do is play Dota 2 and don't invite me. So SC Forum Tuesdays is now dead, but do not worry, it will be replaced with something very, very fun soon. I'm going to continue in the vein of being completely self-indulgent, and Tuesdays will just be a non-Starcraft video. It might be League of Legends, it might be me sitting playing a bit more of Planescape, it might be me playing Diablo 3 when it comes out. Basically, it's just going to be something a bit fun and a bit different to ease myself into the week. Of course, do not forget, you can also find me over at youtube.com forward slash vapor game, where every Friday I release a new replay called StarCraft 2 Best of the Best, which will be featuring awesome cool strategies from some of the best StarCraft 2 players in the world. Last week we had Pult, this week coming up we have Grubby. So you know it's going to be fun. So now, back to the game. We have Stefano getting his first Zerglings out. He is getting a Metabolic Boost and adding a Hatchery. It is just, uh, it is obviously behind uh, Nesty's. That in fact starts as Nesty's finishes. So Nesty will have a Queen on the way. Now I don't like this pool first opening. Um, just against Nesty. I know Nesty can be tricky sometimes, but... I feel like with the pull first, you've got to do some damage with it then, because of course you're giving Nesty an economic lead, and Nesty's too good for that. You're not going to do damage to him just with a speed advantage. And in fact, Nesty attacking now with a superior amount of Zerglings right now. In fact, has more Zerglings and more drones. See, has more queens, has more of everything. So really, really not pleased at all with the way Stefano went there. Since it gave Nesty that advantage. Now we have drones transferring down to this base. Uh, slightly early. Yep, just a little bit early. What a shame. And now we have Zerglings on the way in from Nesty. Do not have speed yet while Stefano does. But that is not going to mean a thing because his control is so good. Stefano now coming up with his Zerglings. Oh, trapping Nesty's. Wonderful moves by Stefano there. Trapping Nesty on the ramp and stopping him from doing any damage whatsoever. And now we have a spine crawler moving from Stefano down to the lower ground. But Nesty, what is Nesty doing? Nesty's building nothing but Zerglings right now. So he has the two hatches, but he's only using them for Zerglings right now. He's taking down these rocks. Uh, I believe that's just to give them something to do. Let's take a look. We have 28 Zerglings to 6. 27 drones to 17. Okay, Nesty is going pretty much all in right now with speed links. And that is so many speed links. Stefano is building a road to run. But right now he has nothing to defend at home. One spine crawler and two queens. 
That is not going to be enough. The Rotoran will not finish in time. Look at these Zerglings streaming across the map. Stefano. Stefano needs to hold, but I don't think he can. Doesn't have the money to do anything right now. Sending all his money on that Rotoran. And 14 Zerglings. These Zerglings will start to pop out. But will it be enough? The Spinecrawler dies. The Queens are going to die. One Queen goes down. The second Queen... Goes down two, and Nessie has too many Zerglings getting right up into the main base, adding more and more, 24 more Zerglings. This is it. These roaches coming out will not be enough. Stefano with the well played, and Nessie in seven and a half minutes takes down Stefano in game one. I am so sorry, Stefano. Why do I always pick games where you lose? Anyway, absolutely fantastic play from Nessie. Holy crap, that speedling all in is so strong. Stefano with the pull first, but then went into drone production to try and catch up with Nesty. Little did he know that he in fact overtook Nesty because Nesty was doing nothing but making Zerglings off two base. That is, it's kind of like watching, it's like MC playing Protoss with his two base timing attacks. That is so, so good. From Nest here, and that is why he's still one of the best Zerg vs Zerg players in the world today. Anyway, that is it for today. I will be back tomorrow with game two of Nest here versus Stefano. Hopefully, Stefano can pull a win back and take us into a game three. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a very lovely day because I